Hey, what's going on traders? Mike here on Tactical Traders doing another scan of APDN today. We're going to do a technical scan. It's going to be very quick and we're going to run through this. Right now we have the daily chart pulled up. And as you can see, since uh, pretty much uh, 2020, this has been moving all over the place. Crazy range for some of these days. Um, definitely one that can really move, especially if you're short. This could do some serious burns and also offer some setups as well from the long and short side of things now obviously from this ticket you can see that it moves pretty wild so if you're going to be entering this recently it's better to trade it rather than invest in it but we obviously you can make some really good uh returns on longer holds let's zoom up a little bit more here here we go all right let's just mark some areas real quick of some obvious uh areas of resistance so we have right about here we're going to start right there at 1350, as well as definitely some resistance here. Whoops. Right here. And we're going to drop it down again to let's see right here. Oh. All right. And we'll put another one. Let's see. This was an area of support for a while. Seems like it was tested over here as resistance. Oh, and on the daily. Boom. Can't miss that. All right, so here are some on the daily, some areas of resistance that we're going to be looking at. So you have that $3 mark. Uh, not really too surprising there being a whole number. You can see it was tested as support here, here, holding up, broke down, and then became an area of resistance. Uh, above there is 750, and above that is 12. And that's pretty much as far as I'm going to really go. Yeah, I guess I could get up to this 1350, but this is where you're going to start stretching it because a lot of these thinner wicks were up here, so it was pretty thinly traded. All right, so let's, uh, let's zoom in a few more. And as you can see, obviously, this has been in a pretty strong downtrend, and uh, it seemed to now get some life, some volume coming in. So let's bring it down to an intraday chart, 30 minute. We'll bring it down to a five minute, actually. All right, so right out of the gate, obviously, this is a grinder going up, um, pulling back, consolidating. Yeah, let's get some drawings on. There we go. Consolidating here in this nice little uh, triangle pattern, I'll call it. All right, here, breaking out with an increased amount of volume here, which is a nice little break. And then that carried it all the way up to the 425. Up here, it started to get a little overextended on this uh, time frame, so it has pulled back. And this is after market, so you can actually see the price is starting to come back up. Now, this is a pretty interesting one because I do think there's some more meat on the bone here. I think that a lot of the shorts are underwater, obviously, anyone trying to short it. Um, and now they're just kind of trapped where overnight, either in after hours, early morning, or tomorrow during the day, I do believe this is going to squeeze higher. Um, and that we could possibly see going out to that daily again, um, a retest of the... Um, that today's high that 440 so actually we're going to pull that up and write the uh chart right now too since that was obviously something to clear today let's see here we go i, I like that 450 range actually because you can see it was tested over here so you know we're going to be obviously past that three i think 450 is the next area of resistance we're going to have to be testing and then now that we're looking on taller smaller time frames uh probably right around here at the six so all in all i think this actually could offer at least a 50 percent to 100 percent uh double in the next coming days i think 450 is going to be very easily reached and they'd be trapping a lot of shorts overnight and during today's uh, action and possibly squeezing it up for a exit 450 to six now once you get around the six range um if you are a long start to you know definitely use some extra caution i do recommend taking profits along the way but this is where, as a short seller, is going to start to look to uh, start, um, you know, loading position between the six and seven fifty, probably scaling in, um, and then looking for a possible pullback or a complete, you know, breakdown. So this overall is going to be a trader in my eyes, uh, but use extreme caution. This can move uh, very fastly, long or short. So best of luck, traders, and that is it for today.